Right guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another RAM episode. I don't have too much to say, but I do have a lot to do. I remember promising you guys that this thing will be on the streets in this video. Just finished the second fender soundproofing. Man, when you hit this, it feels like plastic. I'll be driving this RAM. People will think I'm driving a Tesla. It's gonna be so quiet. Still waiting on the radiator, so I can't really complete the front, but I wanna take this off put a new filter I got the filter I want to take the EGR off and clean it up inside really good the reason I want to clean up the EGR on the RAM because I just did down the Mercedes this one is a diesel too and that's the EGR and man this thing was black inside outside was all this was black big time now it's all nice and clean this is what I'm using to clean that. I'll show you when I'm gonna work on the RAM EGR. Look at the difference. This one, the new one is all white and clean. And look at that one. I'll let it sit for a little bit to get it through and then I'll wash it with like a little brush and then water. So we have the EGR all cleaned up. I even dry it with a heat gun because I'm not gonna start the truck anytime soon. So I don't want no water over there and start rusting. Even over here inside, I got it clean. And this one goes right there started to put this bumper together and that's the bumper that I got it for a lot cheaper because it didn't have these holes for the sensors and I drilled them myself and they fit really good putting the bumper and hold a little bit the bracket it goes over here it's bent because this bumper was hit in that corner and then when i'm putting the bolts it wants to twist the bumper i don't need that so i'm gonna get a new one but now i'm gonna go ahead and install the front wheels after i pull this one out i'll install the dirt guard and then the wheel The radiator finally came in. We got a $40 bracket. Looks like I just ran out of work. To do the hood, I need somebody to help me. To change the last wheel, I wanna take it off and install the uh, fender liner first, but I can't do it until the bracket is coming. I ordered a bracket that goes here. With the headlights, I ordered um, adapter, the plugs from the original to 
this head lies that I got. So a couple more things, but I'm stuck. Did receive some boxes. They're over here, pretty long one. So I'm going to the shop right now to put some work on the rim. Let's open the box. I have the original uh, steps, but they're chrome. I was thinking to take all the plastic off, take them to powder coat, but they charge from 250 to 300 a piece, which means I'll have to pay like 500 bucks to get them powder coat, where I can sell it for a couple hundred bucks. And I bought this for 200 something. And they're pretty nice. Aluminum. And I got my headlight adapters which means I can install this headlight, not this one because I still have to get back and install the bracket when it comes. The bracket that I was waiting for finally arrived. So if it wasn't for this little bracket, the truck would be like this. Look at that, a lot better, huh? But because the bracket was missing, the truck is like this, but it's okay, now I have the bracket, so I'll put all back together. So today should be a boring day for me. Doing the oil change, I gotta fill up the radiator with antifreeze, brake fluid, power steering fluid. I gotta mess with all that today. I only connected one battery and this is what it does. That's like the alarm is on, but that reminds me that I forgot to install the horn. That's why it's not beeping. The key doesn't react to the truck, so it has to be programmed. I'm just gonna disconnect the battery right now and call the electric guy to come and fix this. That's the project that will start posting after the ram is done, so stay tuned this little truck. I'm gonna start working on the tail lights. First I'll go with 600, get rid of all the scratches and then change that to a thousand to make it really smooth. And then I wanna tape everything that's red and paint the edge I'll paint it black, like completely black, that way you don't see through the, all the chrome. And then I'll spray with a clear coat, kind of darkish, to get them a little smoke. Both of them are ready. We're gonna spray this with black and then peel the tape, mix some black with a clear coat and spray again the whole tail light just to get them a little darker.
How do you like the lights? I think they're a little too dark, but maybe not, because if you take this thing outside, it will be a little brighter. I said I need to program the truck before we gonna start. I don't really have to because the push button start, the key, and the rest of the computers that goes in, this, in the truck, everything is out of the parts truck because the original are damaged, except the one that goes to the engine. But lucky I sold the engine to a guy I know. I called him, he said he doesn't use it. And I went and got it from him and just changed it. It goes somewhere over there on the engine. It's hard to tell, but this is one of the plug. That's the other, so the computer is right there. So I'm pretty comfortable they will start because we got all the computers from the parts truck right now, even the key and the push button start and the parts truck was working perfectly so i don't see why this thing won't start the batteries are connected we got power the key is there pressing the brakes and the button there it goes of course i got a bunch of lights to take care of that's normal because everything was disconnected I need, I guess, to call the, de the dealer, find out how to unblock the screen. All the lights work. Look at those lights. Even that one. Boom. Let's go. So Mark just helped me with uh, pumping the brakes because they changed the caliper. So I had air in the system. And guess what? I'll have him be the first one to drive this thing. <laughs> Let's go. Really? Uh oh. He's already complaining the steering wheel doesn't work. I know why. It's empty. I did put some, but I guess it went down. All right, let's try again. First drive on the new truck. So it looks like we'll have to do some adjustments over here. I gotta cut this corner somehow like that. That's what happen when you go with bigger wheels. So taking this to the streets for a little bit, just for a little bit, because I still have to do some adjustments with the lights, with the screen, got to cut to make some room for the wheels. After that, we'll go somewhere, I don't know, snow maybe. But for now, so far so good. Drives with no problem. I need a little alignment. The steering wheel is a little sideways but always after you do a suspension work
Look at those lights. Roof lights, headlights. All right, so there's another build that's complete. It was a lot of work, but I'm so glad this thing is already driving. After adjusting a few little things with the wheels and stuff, alignment, then this thing is good to go. I will probably send another video or two, <clears throat> the price review and stuff like that. We'll see as we go, but we'll stay tuned for the next build coming. It's right there, the Ranger. We're gonna do the white body and all kind of stuff. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Finance on Instagram. It's a custom auto builds, and I'll catch you guys later.